Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. I figured you'd say Bart Beg. Bart Beg, Ard Bart, you name it. Ard Beg Scorch, and we're gonna test it. Even my shirt's on fire, baby. Heavily charred barrel <laughs> on fire style. Boo! All right, we're in. I didn't change the shirt because the shirt looks like fire. They got scorched things and, and fire things and dragon legends and stuff. I saw this and I just a picked bit it of water up. in there. I didn't even think to call or question Bart if he wanted it because he'd say, eh, 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 eh. If it's there, pick it up. It ain't anti pickup. I'm just not trying to go nuts. It's not, it's not like the Beatles are in town and, oh, oh. <laughs> So I like what Ardbeg does. Ardbeg Scorch. This is the 46% Ooh. version. I think this was the committee release. I'm not confident yeah, on that. Yeah, I think it year. was. This is not the committee release. No. This is just Ardbeg Scorch. 46% limited edition, fiercely charred casks from Warehouse 3. And I liked how they turned the tail of the dragon the into the Ardbeg logo. And they have their dog holding a Ooh. shield and a sword. Huh. Yeah, other side. Look at the dog. <laughs> I like it. That's the stuff I like. Think we can set that off to the side. Set her down, baby. I'm but surprised. It's a cool box. I'm surprised by the color. Okay. I expected younger and lighter and lighter. Okay. Yeah. So it's either older than I expected, or, or it's picked the, up more yeah, color they, from they the charred. charred cask. The heavily charred the cask. So, so <clears> we'll, we'll see what that has done. Thank you. They add coin. I know. How many of these coins have we got left? Not many. You better get on and go get them. About time to do a new corn. Corn? <laughs> <laughs> About time to do a new corn. What? Coin. All right. Pete. Yeah. There's a darker fruity sweetness under there. I get like a dry, dusty barn fire. Um, Even the peat isn't as strong as I thought it would be coming out. I, I expected more peat to be coming out of the glass. Right. I mean, the peat's there, but again, what I get is a, a barn raising. A Mormon barn raising went wrong and caught fire. That's what this is. Those don't go wrong. Do Mormons raise barns? I would imagine. It's more like the Amish, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm sure Mormons, Mormons do, too. Probably, uh, Mormons are great with barns. So I expected I expected peat and light citrus notes. I thought with this dark, I was somehow thinking I was going to get a peat and a, like a black licorice, but that's not what I'm getting. Why I thought that, I don't know. There's earthy peat and then darker, like brown sugar, even plum-like sweetness on the nose. Whoa. Um... I'm going to hold my description because I want you to taste it before I say what I'm thinking. Yeah. See why I didn't want to influence you. When you had it, it feels like the barrel was on fire. It does. That is <laughs> that is like wood char. Yes. That's yes. I didn't think that's what I was going to get. Multi wood char. Wood burned oak staves. Yes. And that's why I held my tongue because I wanted to make sure you were getting the same thing. Now I'm the, not okay, sure how now. pleasurable that was. Finish now kicking in is the peat, is that earthy peat. Yeah, it's earthy peat, end. but with this lingering burnt up front, chunk of wood. Up front, it was burnt wood. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely different, it's than, different. than I expected. And this is, like I say, this is, I believe this is the regular release of the committee release from last year. It I'm not just, sure. it just showed up here. <laughs> and I haven't actually, I haven't watched anybody or seen anybody else's reviews to see what people think. And it may be even older than that, than last summer, summer of 21. I'm not, I don't, I'm not for sure. Boy, yeah, I get to the peat, the earthy peat and the finish is nice. The burnt oak up front is just reminding me of oak. Burnt oak, like a barn fire happened. I'm not necessarily, I mean, again, the finish is nice, but I'm not digging it. 
I don't get any of the, the light citrus notes that I had expected. Not necessarily, there's not any plums here. The nose smelled darker um, fruits, darker sweetness. Angry. There's, Angry there's brown sugars. Want some water? Burnt brown sugars. Burnt toffee. Burnt. I'm throwing it with, with burnt. anger. Burnt or burnt? Burnt. Bart. Burnt. Bart says it's burnt. Um, burnt barrel. What else? I'm looking. Jeez. What kind of what kind of fruits? What kind of sweetness? All right. The fresh, burnt, even burnt honey. Everything's Jeez. burnt here. Yeah. Everything's oh. toasted. The peat is in the background. Yes. So everything being toasted, charred, and burnt is up front. <laughs> this is different. Oh, it's, it's unique. It's different. Unpleasantly different. I don't, <laughs> I don't like. I don't like all this burnt. And you hit it. <laughs> yeah. You've hit it. I'm, I'm, I'm at the finish. The finish is nice. The finish is peaty. The finish is earthy. Uh -huh. um, the weird thing is, is there's a lingering scorched campfire flavor as well. Grass fire. Maybe that too. Like when I run fires in my house, they occasionally get out of control. Um. It's like I'm having to work through the burnt to get to the peat still on the finish. Because now I've got a lingering wood jar. The peat's kind of gone. But I still have a charred piece of oak stave sitting next to me on my chair. Staring at you. Mocking me as it little wisps of smoke come out. Mocking me. It's mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, unique, different. Geez. I don't think it's bad. I like it. The nose feels like it has so much more promise. I don't get burnt wood on the nose or anything. It's all in the flavor. You know, I wasn't getting that much peat, though. Yeah, I mean, there was some char and stuff on the nose, the darker sweetness, that malty. But I get a lot more sweetness on the nose. Yeah, yeah malty, a slight sugary maltiness and then when when it when it goes into the mouth it's burnt wood i could see this one if it isn't and i don't know actually i haven't seen that much on it will be divisive you'll i think you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it um i'm a I, i'm in between i don't know that i love it but i don't hate it it's a <clears throat> difference it's, it's prop it might be the most unique art bag mm. You've had. Mm. Can you think of something? What other art bag would you th would you go? I like this one better than what art bag? This yeah. over this right everything. No, I mean what what would you what do you like this over? Nothing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nothing. I like. It's unique. This over. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this over any art bag at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, I'm crying a little bit inside. <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm sad. I feel like I'm a knight that lost and got burnt. <laughs> I'm in rehab and I'm burnt. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to score it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to. God dang. Um, 79. I don't like it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought I was going to dig it. <laughs> first of all, it's one of the first times I tried something and I kept my mouth shut. First of all, because <laughs> I had to let you try it. I was like, you know, I almost said like burnt everything. And then I thought, shut it down. Let Maybe that's me. Let you experience it. I just got a little bit, you know, in the in Black Hawk Down when they're flying into <laughs> Mogadish, into burning a, tire. Mogadishu in the burning tire. Yeah, they're like, what are they burning the tires for? Yeah, I'm like they let them know yeah. we're coming. Yeah, I just got a little bit of burning tire. I'm going 88. I, I would. Crazy. I was at my expectations before we cracked it was this, this would be in the 90s. Yeah, um, yeah. It's I, definitely it's different. It's unique. Um, the most, well, I mean, that's missed the, for me. I don't want to say that. I mean, Ardbeg Dark Cove is unique. 
That's a good unique. This is unique in a different way. All right. Now, my caveat is some people know, especially on the bourbon side, I'm, I don't like bourbons that are really oak forward. Some people love them. I get it. Fine. No problem. With a lot of bourbons, because they're using a virgin oak barrel, you're going to get a lot more of those wood influences in them. The way they burnt this barrel, I'm getting charred wood, mm -hmm. and I'm getting a lot of charred oak. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you like, I will tell you this, if you like those oak flavors, you may dig this. I don't. <laughs> and I expected, <laughs> yeah. I, ex I thought, I, I, if you would have said, where do you think we're headed? I would have said, I'm almost pitching this at a 90 before I've tried Expectations. Yeah, the nose was really good. And then that first hit, like I said, how many times have I said, hold on, let me not say anything. Cause still, I was, still burnt, but a, a, um, a cream brulee. So vanilla cream brulee, which is what brulee means, burnt. But this, this is like toast. I mean, this is like burnt. Creme. It's like brulee to creme, the creme, third. Creme brulee. But um, different, <sighs> unique. I like it. Uh, $100. Even the nose. It smells like a punk, uh, a little punk you would start a fire, uh, a fire firecracker cracker with. Yeah. That's what it's, that smells like. It's That's unique. A punk. I don't mind it, but it's not. I'm angry. <laughs> $100. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take that home. I was going to Greco wrestle you for it. It'll go with your bags. <laughs> uh, I love hard bag. Hundred bucks. What do you, yes or no? You couldn't give that to me. <laughs> <laughs> if if people sent me this, I'd be it, like, quit, stop. I would say I would say if you see it, get it because it's an hard bag. It's one of those down the road. People are going to be like, did you have that? Do you have it? Can I try it? Can I have a sample of it? Let me see it. Just watch my what's, reaction. What's your thoughts on it? I want to see my good. reaction when I sipped it and then yeah. and then contain the fire within me <laughs> so that I didn't, I thought maybe I'm getting something weird. Let's see what you get. And then you said, burnt, burnt, barrel <laughs> on fire, burnt. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. I don't want any more. <laughs> I like the I like the art. I like the dog. The dog was cute. I thought it was going to be on the box. yeah. I thought the dog was going to be on my shelf, and I would point to people and go, "Look at this." When I was in height in like middle school, I played a role playing game, and I felt like I was that dog in this game. And now I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> go to scotchtestdummies.com and pick up some merchandise: shirts, hats, coins. Help support the show. Keeps the lights on. Keeps the whiskey flowing. My heart is sad. Go to Patreon. And you can look up Scotch Test Dummies on Patreon. You can support as little as a dollar a show, a dollar a month. You can do a dollar a show. That would be great. You can do five dollars. You can park that figure wherever you want it. And we'll at least say your name at a dollar. You do two dollars, we shout it out with vigor. Vigor. That's right. I'm about to call I'm calling Jackie. At the you call her. Time. I love Jackie, but I'm gonna let Jackie know, hey, this one didn't quite settle with me. Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, you got to go watch the show. We're on the hard big docks. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Salancha. <laughs>